Welcome to another new video of interesting math problem on our channel Math Solutions for You. Please do like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. A, B, C and D, E, F are two congruent right triangles with A, B equal to D, E equal to 4, B, C is equal to E, F equal to 3 and E, F is perpendicular to BC. If F is the midpoint of BC, what's the area of the small shaded triangle GHF that's enclosed between these two congruent triangles ABC and DF? And this problem comes with the figure where it's indicated that in triangle ABC, B is the right angle and similarly in, in triangle DEF, E is the right angle and EF being perpendicular to BC, so, so that's also at right angles to BC. So we start by noting that EF has to be parallel to AB because AB is perpendicular to BC and EF is perpendicular to BC, so EF has to be parallel to BC. And oh, sorry, E has to be parallel to AB. And then, uh, if that's true, then from congruency of triangles DEF and ABC, we have this angle, angle DFE that's marked in green, being equal to this angle, angle ACB, which is also marked in green. And since EF is parallel to AB, the corresponding angles, angle BAC that's marked in blue and angle FGH, so that's also marked in blue. So those should be also equal because they are corresponding angles found by the intersecting line AC with parallel lines AB and GF. So, if you look at the small triangle GHF, which is shaded, and the bigger triangle ABC, two of the corresponding angles of these two triangles are equal, right? And those are the angles that are marked in blue and green, respectively. So, that means that automatically the third angle will be also equal, right, for, for both of these triangles. And this would make these triangles similar triangles. And what's the third angle? Well, for triangle ABC, the third angle, the ones that are not marked in blue and green, so that's 90 degree, that's angle ABC, that's 90 degree. So this means that angle GHF should be also a 90 degree angle. So angle GHF equal to 90 degree, which makes triangle GHF essentially a right angle triangle, but the right angle is at H. Angle GHF is the right angle here. Now, what's the length of AB? The length of AB is given as 4. Now, GF is parallel to AB, right? And we know that F is given to be the midpoint of BC. So that will make GF essentially equal to half of AB and since AB is 4, GF will be equal to 2. So we have GF equal to 2 in triangle GHF. The other thing that we have noted is that this small triangle GHF has its corresponding angles equal to those of triangle ABC. So that makes triangle ABC and triangle GHF similar triangles and now we apply the property of similar triangles which essentially, essentially states that the ratio of corresponding sides of these two triangles should be equal. So if we take the ratio of GH by HF that should be equal to the ratio of AB by BC and we already know what AB and BC are that's given. So AB is 4 and BC is 3. So GH by HF should be equal to 4 by 3. So we can let GH is equal to 4K, HF equal to 3K, where K is some common parameter. 
and that makes the ratio gh by hf 4 by 3 so this is a valid assumption to make based on the finding the gh by hf has a ratio of 4 by 3 and this is a trick that often helps form some simple equations to solve if you you know approach the problem in this way have a common parameter k and then basically you know uh, take gh equal to 4k hf equal to 3k and in right angle triangle ghf we have you know the gf being the hypotenuse we can apply uh, pythagoras theorem and write the gf square is equal to gh square plus hf square so gh and hf are the two legs of the right angle triangle gf is hypotenuse so this is just pythagoras theorem and then we already know what gf is gf is 2 and then we substitute gh equal to 4k and hf equal to 3k and we get this 4k whole square plus 3k whole square equal to 2 square so if we you know evaluate the, the left hand side that comes to 25k square and the right hand side is of course 4 and from this we can solve for k so k square is 4 by 25 and that makes k equal to 2 by 5 so now we know what gh is gh is 4k and we know the value of the parameter k so that makes gh equal to 8 by 5 and hf is 3k and that makes hf equal to 6 by 5 and then we are asked to find the area of triangle ghf now ghf being a right angle triangle the area of the right angle triangle is simply half multiplied by the product of the two legs of the right angle triangle because you can regard like uh, HF as the base of the triangle and GH as the altitude. So half, uh, you know, altitude multiplied by base. Uh, and that's the area of the triangle GHF. And then if you substitute GH equal to 8 by 5 and HF equal to 6 by 5, you get the area as half multiplied by 8 by 5 multiplied by 6 by 5, which comes to 24 by 25. And then if you want to convert it into a decimal, you, you have a denominator that's 25 so you multiply both numerator and denominator by 4 in order to basically make the denominator equal to 100 so that gives you 96 by 100 which is 0 0.96 so the answer in terms of decimal will be 0 0.96 or you can provide uh, a fraction or any any equivalent form